In this episode, we'll be looking for the wood mouse. But not just any old wood mouse, sometimes called the field mouse. We're in Estonia. So we get a different, slightly different version of the wood mouse. We get the striped wood mouse. Now I'm lucky that I have an infrared camera, which is basically like a camera trap. If something moves in front of it, it starts recording and it can do that in the dark and in the light. And so I managed to set that up in a few places with a few sunflower seeds and that camera, I got some decent footage. The first place I filmed was, was outside, but all I really caught on that was a great tit. Um, not that great tit, an actual great tit. Um, lovely little bird, but that wasn't what we were looking for today. So then I then placed it near our dog food. Now where the dog food is kept, which is in basically the corridor, we call it, or the, you know, the lobby, we found a mouse in there, but I won't show you that footage just yet. I set up the camera looking down there, and at first I had no luck, I had to keep trying. I even used peanut butter. And um, the reason I think it wasn't working is because it was too exposed, so I put a piece of cardboard to help block it off. And I also had our nephews over, and because they're really noisy, the, the mice were just were not, were not interested. As soon as they were gone, that night we had mice. This particular wood mouse has a slightly crooked ear and I think I caught this little mammal on the camera at various locations at multiple times of the day. Now since filming the mouse in the dog food bag, I think I also caught her a couple of weeks later and she was pregnant because she appears to be a lot larger. Wood mice can easily have four litters a year in the breeding season. I reckon the breeding season is a little bit shorter in Estonia but the further south you go I'm sure it's longer. They can also have about six pups in a litter. I also managed to get some pictures of some infant mice um, couldn't get any footage because they were too quick for the camera trap but I wonder if they're related to our crooked ear mouse. Wood mice in general play a really important role in seed dispersal so when they eat the berries they poo them out further away from the parent plant so that means the new plants don't grow in the shade of the parents. You can actually see some evidence of mouse poo right here and it belongs to the striped wood mouse that I caught on camera uh, but this scenario is actually quite dangerous because the striped wood mouse carries a virus called the hunter virus. The hantavirus can cause hemorrhagic fever and renal syndrome, which is quite nasty for humans. You can catch it from mouse feces, especially in dusty environments like this, where if you dust it, it kicks up the aerosols and you can breathe those in. So I'm going to make sure I clean this by dampening it first, and then I'll just sweep it away. So Estonia have a unique strain of hantavirus. It's called the Saruma strain, because after doing um, some genetic testing on it, they can say that that strain is slightly different from the other ones maybe due to geographical isolation, because those particular mice are geographically isolated on that island. But don't panic, hantavirus has never spread between human to human, only from mouse to human transmission, and the particular strain that spreads the most in Estonia isn't particularly dangerous. In fact, when they did a study, they tested about a thousand people, healthy individuals, for the virus, and about 9.1% of them had antibodies for the virus, and they probably never knew they had it. So you might be wondering why the striped field mouse doesn't live in the UK or Western Europe. So it seems there are two distinct populations of striped field mouse. You find them in far east Russia, China and Korea, and here in Estonia, reaching about as far west as Germany. It seems these mice are Asiatic immigrants. The mice in the western edges of their range are less genetically diverse, suggesting a small population of founder mice migrated here and it is believed to happen between ice ages. These Asiatic immigrants may have come over here some 38,000 years ago, or as recent as 11,000 years ago. Now, the mice are currently continuing their migration as they venture further west towards West Germany and Denmark via natural migration, and of course, hitchhiking off human activity, such as the transport of grains from farms. We are the evil mice, and we are heading west. Why are we heading west? For we've been told that west is best. We are the evil mice, and we are heading west. Striped field mice are noted to be an agricultural menace for grain farmers and plagues of mice can happen if hard frost or flooding doesn't occur in the winter because these frosts and flooding can basically destroy their burrows. Now will climate change lead to more events of striped field mice plagues ravening crops and will they ever spread as far as the UK? Thank you very much for watching the episode. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. We are the evil mice and we are heading west. Why are we heading west? For we've been told that west is best. We are the evil mice, and we are heading west. Why are we heading west? For we've been told that west is best. We are the evil mice, and we are heading west. Why are we heading west? For we've been told that west is best.